this is part of Letterman's innovation. One of the things that he did is he said, you know, we need to have some system of first aid. And what he did is he started to organize the doctors rather than having individual doctors from a regiment just set up a hospital wherever. He started organizing at the brigade and the divisional level so that he had not two doctors in a hospital, but 10 or 20 or 50. Now, unfortunately, when you get upwards of about 20, you get a problem because you're going to be standing in my hospital around like this, nobody can move. So what do you do? You keep the number in the hospital that you need and you send the rest back on the battlefield to care for the men where they fall. It's a very interesting concept. I know we don't use this term anymore today, uh, but it's one that was very important at the time. It was called um, first aid. You know, every Boy Scout learns of it. And some of you may be certified in first aid and CPR. We understand that today, this was a new concept in 1862. And in 1863, on the battlefield at Gettysburg, there are hundreds of these new aid stations. And what it means is that men are being treated quicker. Ambulances are finding them easier because now the ambulances know just go to the aid station. Men are being triaged to make sure that we're not putting potential corpses on an ambulance. If you are not going to live the hour to get back to the hospital, I'm not going to put you in the ambulance and deprive a man who will. Which means when you get to the hospital, men are living in droves who died but a year before. This was all part of Letterman's system. Now, what happens under Letterman's system is very similar to what happens now. You're treated at the point of injury or close to it. Your buddies just have to drag you to a safe place. The doctor starts treatment. We're applying tourniquets to stop the bleeding. We're giving pain medication to stop the pain, just like we do today. We're treating for shock. Okay, they didn't understand the shock very well. They were giving bourbon, which may make you feel better. Uh, it's not good for shock. Salt water would have been better. Water out of a canteen would have been better. I'll take the bourbon. Um, but the fact is we're getting these guys to the hospital in better condition than ever before. And the next step then is our hospital. By the way, these are the first aid kits. 